Sorry, buddy. You're gonna have to go. Come on. Out. Go, go, go. Go. Go, go. Today, we're gonna be playing Grimm's Hollow. This is a little cute RPG game about a person named Lavender who's looking for their brother in the afterlife. This game contains some discussion of grief and losing a loved one. Discretion is advised. Suitable for ages 13 plus. Wake up. Welcome, new reaper. <gasps> They're so cute! I love the little balloons. We're so happy to have you join us. It's been such a long time since we've seen a new face. Look at how cute he is. What? Who are you people? We're your new friends. I'm calling the police. <laughs> the way their face looks so casually. <laughs> Wait, I don't have my phone. Why is she acting like that for? <laughs> Grim hasn't given her the lowdown yet, remember? Oh. Good thing we have balloons. Yeah, balloons make everything better. Everyone loves balloons. Where are my balloons? Crap. Ooh, look at Grim. Everyone, shoot. Aw, Grim, must we? No parties are to be thrown until the newbie is initiated. And no party is to be thrown without me. Especially with my balloons. Ugh. Come on now, everyone. Out. There'll be cake later. Hopefully the cake's not a lie. This is so cute. I love this style. I love all the purple. I am sorry if they scared you. They're a bit overwhelming. What is happening? Right. I'll be- I'll just be straight about it. You're dead. Okay, so they are dead. Huh? I love how the music stopped. You're dead. No. I heard you, but why are you here? Well, unfortunately, your spirit isn't strong enough to move on. Here at Grimm's Hollow, spirits such as yourself help deliver ghosts to become stronger. <laughs> This is really cute. They even have their own little bakery and their little outside sitting area. Like, you think Grim Reapers are spooky, but like, these are really cute. Ghosts? People whose spirit is too strong, making them frenzied and unwilling to go. So you can be too weak to go, and yet too strong to go. Okay. We reap those, and uh, it's a topic for another time. For now, you need rest. The jams, though. There are fresh robes for you on the bedside cabinet. The local baker has also been kind enough to give you some donuts and cookies, free of charge. Unfortunately, we don't have milk. The heck? You can't have cookies and goodies without milk? Wait! Do you know my brother? where my brother is? Timmy? Sorry, little one. I don't know a Timmy, but if I meet a Timmy, I will tell you. Have a good rest. I can't stay here. This may be some sort of weird cult. <laughs> I should put on the robe so I can blend in and escape. The balloons, though. Easy to interact. Fresh robes. Reaper mask. Two deathlicious donuts. Three spooky cookies. <laughs> Look at us. So is everyone that's a reaper just dressed like this then? I think it's actually a person. It's locked. <sighs> of course. Psst. Hey. Who the heck? Uh -huh. Look at how cute the little ghost is. I can help you. I saw Timmy in a cave. Can I trust you? Cave? Yes, it's where the reapers go to reap. Oh god. Don't worry, he was safe the last time I saw him. Where can I find him? Which way? Just go left to exit out of town, then head into the first cave you see. You'll find him in there. But do me a favor, and don't tell anyone I was here, yeah? You know, these reapers, they're kind of nuts. 
unlock the door for you. Good luck. Thank you. Bye, maybe not suspicious ghost. This shelf is full of coloring books for some reason. I mean, you can't color in the afterlife. There aren't coloring books in heaven. Maybe I don't want to go. <laughs> the shelves are full of oddities. Take a glance. Yeah. Grim Dictionary. Essential words for a reaper. Coming to terms with death. An illustrated guide. You don't feel you have time to read them. Which room did I come out of? This one? Oh, no. This is a different one. Hmm? Me? I'm just trying to look out the window. I've never seen a view like this when I was alive. No sun, no moon, no concept of time, night, or day. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to freak you out. Sorry, I don't want to talk. I'd hate to wake up my partner. He needs to restore his willpower. <laughs> the will to get out of bed. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to just jump into your bed like that. Are you trying to make a move on me? <laughs> oh, here's this place. I'm telling you, I could listen to this music all day. Oh, hello. My friend and I were supposed to meet at the bakery and eat some pastries, but I think they've stood me up. That's sad. Not just me and my new friend, the balloon. <gasps> oh no! Oh. <laughs> hey, broski. I've been thinking, if this is all we eat, how are we able to process all this sugar? Shouldn't we be fat from all those carbs or something? There's no such thing as carbs when you're dead. Now shut up and eat your cake. <laughs> <laughs> the Reaper is having a staring contest with its muffin. Nice. I'm trying to eat a donut. Go away. <laughs> hey, uh, wanna get this bread? Um, uh, no. But you are adorable in your little apron. Have you seen Timmy? Sorry, there's no Reaper called Timmy in the hollow. You can trust me on that one. I know all of my customers. Um, who's asking anyway? No one. Technically speaking, I am. I don't have enough spirit energy to pass on. But I don't reap any ghosts. I prefer to bake. So call me Baker, please. Why is there a bakery here? Reapers don't need to eat to survive, but even if we're dead, we still get tired. A reaping can be very draining, It's if it's a difficult one. So I sell a bread that restores full power during a reaping. That way reapers don't faint out of exhaustion. They get to spend more time collecting spirit energy from ghosts. All I ask for in return is a small portion of spirit energy so then one day I can pass on myself. I see, so they're all just collecting spirit energy so they can move on. That's the agreement Grim and I made when we dis were discussing opening up the bakery. Grim's job is, after all, to make sure everything in the hall passes on. Though really, I didn't make take too much convincing. Didn't take too much to convince Grim to let me bake instead of reap. All I had to do was give him a taste. Sure. A spooky cookie, delicious donut, morbid muffin, <laughs> blueberry flavored, chocolate cake. Grim's favorite, too big to use once. Oh, so you can use it more than, more than one time. That's actually pretty nice. Mork. Milk carton with milk misspelled. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's this? Oh, this is the cave. This is the cave. This cave is void of territorial hazards. Safe for all initiated reapers. Uh, that guy looks dead. Like, dead dead. Oi, get up. The reaper prods his partner with the butt of the scythe. Up, now. Don't wanna. Too tired. Me in the morning. <laughs> Sorry, but cave's closed. Spreading with exploding ghosts, large gaps, and broken bridges. Till Grim finishes restoring it, this area is off limits. Cool. Let's go into this cave then. It's dark in here. Guess I'll take off my mask. Timmy, are you here? Ah! <laughs> wow, what a fresh face! You must be the newbie. Yes, I am. Can you help me? If you're looking for another reaper in here, you'll need a scythe. Here, take mine. Thanks, but why? Oh, heads up. Here we go, first fight. Should I teach you how to fight? There it is. We have to do it early to get a good swing. Let's do our special. The 
the ghosts faded away. Only two spirit energy was reaped from that. What was that flash just then? That means your spirit has collected some spirit energy. Close your eyelids. And look. On the inside of your eyelids, you have stats. If only it was that easy. What? Oh, it's upgrades. See those numbers next to the letters SE? That's your, that's how much spirit energy you have. You can use it to increase your strength, speed, defense, and special powers. Or you could just use it to learn new special moves from combat. You can access it from the menu by pressing X and selecting newbie spirit. Once a reaper has completed their spirit by filling it up with energy, they can finally move on. Anyways, I shouldn't hold you up. Go find your Timmy. I'm sure he's missing you. If you ever need any extra help, I'll be around. And don't worry about dying. I missed that part because I clicked without reading. <laughs> what the hell? I guess you can you can avoid them. <gasps> Look at Carol! Carol's gonna die first. Four spirit energy. Not bad. Please note that ghost caves sometimes have ghost walls. These are illusionary walls. Ah. You can make them disappear by facing the wall and pressing Z. Try not to get lost. I poached and prodded this wall with my scythe and nothing happens. Ah! There you go. This ghost is showing me the way. <gasps> Jerry. Jerry has a shield! Bye, Jerry. Um, excuse me, what? good spirit energy from this. Seven's not too bad, I guess. You prod the reaper with the butt of your stick. Ugh. You woke up. Huh? Did I pass out? Oh no, that means I'm late. I'm supposed to be at the bakery. Thank you so much for reminding me. Here's a reward for your trouble. I guess that was the one that was supposed to go see his friend. Nice. We got cookies and a donut. Oh, there's so many. Ah! Oh, who's the cute one in the middle? 
actually like legit asleep. Oh, I was like, maybe if I hit it, it's gonna wake up, and it didn't. Pass out and there looks like that ghost you fought gave you a rough time. Remember to eat when you're in danger. Sounds silly, but it works. Dang it. That's odd. I could have sworn there was an entrance around here the other day. about this looks dangerous. Not yet. What about this one? Go ahead. You haven't saved your game. Please consider saving before entering. Timmy? Where are you? This may be a boss fight. Like, I'm too- I'm not ready for this. Lavender? Is that you? Timmy! Lavender, hold on. I'm coming to get you. Slap! Oh no, you're not. <laughs> Do you remember we met not too long ago at the inn? Well, I wouldn't think you'd care. You'd just reaped a dozen ghosts like me. Uh, thanks for your help, but I like to collect my brother. Collect? That's a nice word for reap. Huh? No. I should never have helped you. You're just like the other reapers. I just want to take my brother and go home. Let me through. Oh, he's getting angry. No, you've done enough harm. You're not reaping him if that's the last thing I do. What the? Am I supposed to do with that? It's just an overpowered Jerry. fighting with Perry for like six times at least. I finally remembered, hey dummy, you have a skill tree that you have not been putting any points into. So cue the mandatory training montage. some training under my belt I still couldn't freaking fight the snore without much trouble so I had to go back and look at my skill tree again and add more to my defense and a little bit to my stamina and then try all over again Okay. <laughs> 
noche. After clearing the cave at least once, I was finally able to get all of my stats up. I had my defense about 16, my health at 60, speed at 15, strength was 24, and I took my special from 1 to 6. Also during my training, I was able to learn a couple new skills. I learned an ability called flinch that was able to keep my enemy from moving for 4 moves. And I finally felt like I was ready to take on parry. We'll try this and see what happens. Probably need more health, but we'll find out. energy heck yeah timmy are you still there oh my god lavender what's with your eyes timmy the ghost lavender oh are you okay he's a ghost you, you can't be a ghost timmy lavender Bopped him. Oh, they're hugging. Why are you crying, Lala? Oh, he calls her Lala. Tim? Yeah? Hide inside my pocket. Whatever you do, do not come out until I say so. Stay invisible. Otherwise, I don't know if I can protect you. Is that clear? Aw, they're so cute. I wonder if Timmy was her twin or something. Oh, there you are. Where were you? I was worried sick. Figuratively speaking, that is, I can't be sick. Uh, I went for a walk. Wanted to stretch my legs. I see. Well, now that you're up, I may as well invite you for tea. Don't suppose you mind walking a bit further? Um, sure. Excellent. So, Lavender, which of these treats are your favorite? Is it a cookie or cake? Are you into muffins or donuts? The baker is dying to know. Wait, that's not the correct word. Pardon me. He is eager to know, yes. Hmm. Of all of these things, I think a donut would be my favorite. Yes, donuts are to die for, aren't they? Mr. Grimm, I've got a question. No need for formality. You can call me Grimm. Ask away. Can a ghost or a reaper ever live again? No. Unless... Unless... They, oh, I missed it. Dang it. These two fast fingers. I don't understand. Don't we have souls? No, I'm afraid you're all just spirits. There's a difference. When you die, your soul disintegrates because you don't need it anymore. All that's left is a spirit, which makes you either a ghost or a reaper. But every now and then, there are beings who arrive here with a soul completely intact. Normally, when this happens, I redirect them back to life. This is a rare occurrence, however. Anyways, more oolong? Do you have any more questions? <clears throat> Are you a god? <laughs> no, I'm certainly not. As far as my powers go, I can teleport a certain distance, and I can reap ghosts very well. But other than that, I can't do a lot of things. <clears throat> I can't bake, for example. Such an amazing thing, food. 
You remember that? Well, I wanted to throw the party first. I was going to set up balloons in this room right here, but when I looked in the closet, all the balloons were gone. How did I die? I don't know. I'm afraid. I don't see anything which happens on Earth. What happens when I pass on? My guess is as good as yours. I've never seen the afterlife. Only delivered spirits to it. You know, usually new reapers don't tend to believe any of this is real. If they do, they start assuming we're a cult, which is the first thing she said. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the masks. But it seems you've taken to the idea rather quickly. That's because I saw Timmy as a ghost after that. And so, I feel rather concerned. Does he know? What are you trying to say? Simply whether you're alright, Lavender. I care about all my reapers, yourself included. I'm... I'm alright, really. Very well. Baker, you didn't need to sneak into my closet for ingredients, you know. But you looked busy, and I was running out of flour. How would you like teaching Lavender to reap? I mean, I would like to help, but you know I'm not- I don't fight, Grim. You'd be better off asking someone else. You won't have to fight anyone. What if they faint? You're the fastest person in the hollow next to me. You can run out of there carrying them. Well, okay. Excellent. Lavender, whenever you're ready, talk to the baker at the bakery. I'm going to put away the ingredients. See you later, Lavender. Well, that would be part one of Grimm's Hollow, and I hope you liked it. If you do, leave it a thumbs up, and uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this. And uh, we'll be back with more of this in the future, because this is super cute. You can't pass this up. If you want it, check it out on Steam. It is currently free to play. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!